So I want to take a few minutes talking about the Redivis or the iLunes HD1 DMR digital handheld radio. There's been a lot of questions about this radio and whether it is Part 90 certified. And we're going to take a little bit of a deep dive into that specific topic. There is an FCC ID on the back of this radio. So if you're interested to find out if this radio is indeed Part 90 certified, stay tuned. Before we get started, I did want to say that I was contacted by Redivis, and they asked if it was okay if they sent me this radio for test and evaluation purposes. So here it is. I just want to be clear that I did not pay for this radio. Questions around this radio being Part 90 certified came out almost immediately after the radio did. This is a web page, and I'll include all the links below, where you can see questions dating back to November 4th of 2017, where folks were asking if the radio was Part 90 certified. And Redivis' response has always been, we're working on it. In general, that response really didn't satisfy the user community. It's something that's been asked repeatedly again and again, and talked about in various forms and websites dedicated to ham and amateur radio. Here on one of the videos I posted about the HD1, you can see somebody pointing out that the FCC ID is fake, and the radio is not certified or registered at all with the FCC. The commenter provided a link to a website that provides information, basically blog posts about FCC events. And what it does is it talks about this radio and the fact that it does not appear to have a valid FCC ID. Again, this link will be below so you can check it out in more detail. It talks a little bit about the grantee code and how it's for a company out of China. But there is no grant associated to this particular FCC ID, nor can the FCC ID displayed on this label be found in the website at least at the time of this blog post. Today, if you do a search on the FCC website for this ID, you will get the following result. The radio has indeed been granted a Part 90 certification. You can look at the detail, you can look at the summary, or clicking on the checkbox, you can look at the actual grantee certification. Reviewing this document, you can see that the HD1 was granted Part 90 certification on January 30th, 2019. You can also see that the FCC identifier corresponds with the FCC ID on the back of the HD1 radio. On the FCC website, you can also review the exhibits that were submitted as part of the request for certification or Part 90 grants. You can also review in detail the cover letters that were submitted as part of the application process. They'll go over detail about the radio, the manufacturer, the intent of use, and any grants that are part of the request process. Finally, you'll be able to see examples of what the part certification FCC ID label should look like on the radio, where it should be attached, and some other photos of the radio itself. Anyhow, I hope that answers some questions about this radio and its grant certifications. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe or click thumbs up.